Hey guys, welcome to a very special game I have for you here today. It is going to be a live commentary of a game from my Liverpool save. And, uh, well, they don't come much bigger than this. It is going to be Liverpool versus Barcelona um, from Anfield right into 2013, my second season. And uh, this is kind of like, you know, a, a, a sort of a nod to people you know who've um, been with me for quite some time, you know, way back in even the FM 11 days when I... Um, you know, it was pretty much all I did was Liverpool, and um, my first season on FM12 was Liverpool as well. Um, fortunately, this is still the same save. Um, however, I decided to pack it in after the first season. I kind of got bored of Liverpool, but uh, I'm back playing it again. And um, you know, I'm, I thought, hey, Barcelona, you've got to do a live commentary. I've never done a Barcelona live commentary before. I was going to do it against um, when I was Atletico. However, um, I stopped it before I could even get to it. So. Um, yeah, well, I thought, you know what, this perfect opportunity to do Barcelona it is the in the Champions League. I should put a little bit of context in, so I realise I've not uh, done that. So I'll show a bit of context. Firstly, this is the round of 16, uh, the one before the quarterfinals, for anyone in, uh, in um, anyone confused. Um, the round of 16 in the Champions League. Um, I'll, sh I'll, I'll say, I'll get in the context now, but um, back to it, I'll do that. I'll show you some fixtures I've had then, since the last update video. Uh, we're still... Not on that loose streak, you know. We we beat Chelsea two one, you know, so we're in good form. Torres scored against us, but before Carroll and Couth, odd <laughs> scoring again. Uh, scoring for us, Blackburn was two 0 something we couldn't do. Uh, Suarez and Aga, um, and Wigan at the Bayou and Couth. So um, we're on good form, you know. We haven't lost since uh, well, basically the derby in December, and we have uh, failed to not win in how many? Is that? That's three, seven games. So. Um, I, well, I was going to say we're in good form, and I think we damn well need to be because this really is as tough as it gets. To be honest, in this game, um, I really don't know is there any other team on this better or harder to play than Barcelona. I mean, I'm sure you know you're going to have the, a few football snobs or FM snobs who are like, well, technically we've got um, FC Santos in Barcelona. They're technically better. No, they're not. Shut up. Barcelona are the best. And um, they are probably the. This is probably the best team that you are going to see. Um, well, certainly I've seen in my, in my lifetime. Uh, I'm not sure. We, we may see a better team. I don't know. But um, just looking at this team, I mean, I I, I thought, how do you make this bar the current Barcelona team in real life any better? Well, there are a few ways to that. One, you can add Neymar to it, and another one, you can add Hummels to it, and that's exactly what they've done because that now looks like I, I can't describe. There is no feeling. I mean, that team, J just look at that team. That really is a world 11. I mean, with the exception, perhaps, Adri Adriano. I don't even know who that is. Brazilian, um, play for Sevilla. Oh, that guy. Oh, okay. Well, I, honestly, can I can't be honest, I'll hold my hands up and say I don't know much about him, but with the exception of him, that is basically a world 11. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, that is amazing. Now, I'm sure you may be wondering as well how did we get to play Barcelona. I know I'm teasing you with the match, but um, if I just take you to the uh, Champions League, um, we came second to Inter, who are quite ridiculous. I mean, if, I, I know I took I know I took it down, but we got six four to Inter, um, but we were able to beat Maribor and Sporting. I mean, uh, where are we? You know, I mean the players scoring there: Suarez, Maxi, and Wayno and Shelby and. Suso and so on, who's a bit of a beast. Unfortunately, we lost only 1 0 to uh, Inter at the San Siro, so it weren't too bad. But this is a whole new tin of worms right here. Um, I can't get over the fact they've bought Neymar. How much does that cost them? That is insane. 33.5 million. I mean, oh, it's six appear 3 and 6. I mean, look at that record. I mean, look at that. 44, 26 and 44 with 8 assists. Wow. Damn, he's good. And then we've got. Um, and he has to, what, what's, what's Messi's record? I just want to know what his record is um, at the moment. Okay then! <laughs> Fif 14 and 15! Holy shit! Oh, look at that! One thing I um, didn't say was, I think, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it last year. Last year, you can see, obviously, 13 appearances. Why? He broke his cruciates. <laughs> Imagine now! You know, in the Classico or something. In a, I don't know, whenever, in January, say in February, Lionel Messi breaking his leg or his cruciates or something. Imagine, just, oh, just, you'd go mad, wouldn't you? You really would go, 
oh, the, the football footballing world would mourn. Anyway, listen, I'm going to stop rambling on too much. Let's have a look at our team. Um, there aren't too many differences um, to the real Liverpool team in real life. Of course, we have Manuel Adebayor. I still to this day do not know how to sign him. We've got Christian Eriksen, Craig Bellamy, Sebastian Quates, who is a lot better on this than perhaps he is in real life. And that's not saying much, to be honest, because we haven't seen much of Quates, but he does look okay. But uh, he is, like, really composed on this. And then we have Gary Cahill, who... Uh, isn't as good on this as in real life, but um, there's not much difference between these two teams. I think you're bloody well fine, there will be. And their morale ain't great. Let's have a look who's on the bench. Uh, we've got all the Mascaranos there on the bench. Poyal is only on the bench. Afolai's still there. Kater's still there. Uh, but that really is pretty much a world 11. What do you put for Messi? Everything. He tries to close him down, but I don't think that will happen. And we are at home. <laughs> Say good luck to be honest, because you're gonna bloody need it. Uh, our conditions ain't great because of the pack fixtures. I'm gonna go to standard, and here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine uh, if you've ever played Barcelona on this, and which I'm sure I'm sure you have. But if you have uh, had a go against Barcelona, uh, post your how you got on in the comments because I'd love to know how what 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 benchmark we could be looking at. I mean, obviously it's a home, so you know we have a, a plausible chance. But um, you know, I. I I want to know how people they've got on against Barcelona because this is just it is the single best it is the best team in the world it is like this is the equi this is the football manager equivalent of putting it on hard or you know extreme difficulty like insane on Gears of War or legendary on Halo or veteran on COD you know it's 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 that that's what, how difficult this is and it is pretty much all um, Barca at the moment we we'll, we have we're having possession we have the ball at least. One thing to play as well, Steven Gerrard is a year older, so obviously it's not going to be a good day. Is Adbayor with... Oh, you know what? Oh, what's the call from Gerrard? I don't believe it. I thought Suarez, I thought the chance was gone there when Suarez. It was great stuff from Adbayor, and I thought the chance was gone. But that, oh, 100 goals for Liverpool. Um, I don't know if that's, I assume, Korea? Champions League? That'll be, I assume the champ. No, that would be Korea. 100 goals against... And that you would come against... Barcelona. I don't even care if it's not real. That's really funny. The fact that he scored a hundred goal against Barcelona. Oh, it's fantastic. So we're in the lead here against this potential world eleven. I thought, you know, when Alves got rid of it, the chance was gone. But Henderson does well in fairness. He doesn't even take the touch there. Jerry just smashes it. That is a brilliant strike. That is, I mean, even as Gerard, I think he's like 33, 34 now on this. I say about a year or so. I'm out a year ahead of, of real life. So, you know, he's obviously a year older. Here we go again. Look at this. Slicing them open. Oh, Adriano. Well, I told you he was the weak link. And that was this close to being a penalty. That could even be last man. It's not. It's a yellow. I thought for a split second then, last man, he could be off. And that was a big real chance there. But Gerard. Oh, oh. oh well, Ger Gerard can, he can hit one. He's one of the very few players where you, you will get it on target pretty much almost all the time. Oh, my God. It's off the line. Iniesta off the line from of all people, Gary Cahill. This is absolutely amazing. I, mean, I thought I'd, I thought we'd get absolutely destroyed by Barcelona, like I did with Atletico Madrid. Um, I lost six one. I mean, so that was at the new Camp, but you know we we just got destroyed. I mean, I'm waiting for Lionel Messi to do some amazing thing here. Reina, uh, did he? I think he was a former Barcelona player. Not sure. I think I might be talking a load of shit there, but I'm not too sure. Oh well, you know, so that's too often Lionel Messi. Um, just, you know, smashing over, which is right. I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but... Yeah, it's pretty much all them now. They've come back straight into it. Oh, and Quates, I thought he might be the weak link there, and I think that has proven to be the case, and I might as well just say it's 1-1 now, because let's be honest, here's Lionel Messi on the penalty spot. Have you ever seen Lionel Messi miss a penalty? I don't think I have. You probably have, but I don't care. Lionel Messi puts them back in it. That's an away goal for Barcelona as well. Um, well then, uh... Yeah, well, it lasted for a bit, but I didn't care because I've scored. I'm not bothered by that now. What's with the, what's with the macho man stance? What was that about? <laughs> well, like a runner, like in a sprint. Like the, the Olympics or something. What was that about? Luis Suarez, now he might do something good here. Oh, and it's another free kick. It's just... Well, that's no surprise. It's, it's going to be another yellow. Yeah, he's walking away. Um, let's see, can Gerard do something this time? Another one. Nope. Um... That's twice we could have nearly had penalties, but it's just fallen just outside the box. Well, to be fair, then they're getting their way goal. They're just sitting back, which is kind of nerve-wracking, to be honest. And, oh, my God, Stephen Gerrard, he's going so close. He's absolutely 
rampant at the moment. He's just hit the bar. Absolutely rampant at the moment. Look at Suarez, he's doing quite well. Oh, and... Oh, it's just... We'll not go in, will he, at the moment. Henderson this time off the line. We've had... We could be like four or five goals at the moment. And Gary Cahill pushing Busquets. Well, to be honest, if you push Busquets, you mo you so much as flick him. He goes down like an absolute sack of shit. Oh, Quates. Oh... <laughs> Argentine, uh, no he's not, he's Uruguayan, what am I talking about? I'm going to say so two South Americans there, Quartes. Oh, the reason um, I didn't show you actually, Carragher, obviously, I'm not even going to bother playing Carragher because he's going to get ripped apart by Messi, let's be honest. Oh, fucking, we can't handle these players, man. Um, yeah, and Aga is, I think, injured. Sold Skirtle, if you didn't, in case you didn't know. Um, I think I had like a major profit on him. Uh, who else? I think that's it, really. And then it was either him or Danny Wilson. It was like, well, Quartes has been better this season. Wilson, obviously, probably might not even be match fit, so... <laughs> well, Rayner, he's going to be key tonight as well. And over over the leg, over the, the, the uh, two legs, in fact. <laughs> Go on, how's about you? Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if our entire back four got booked at some point during this game. <laughs> but to be fair, we're giving them a really good go. Adebay, oh, look at this. Oh, he just ran away from goal. He, why, did he, why did he run left? What, uh, right, what was that about? <laughs> and he has to his hurt. Let's hope he's injured properly. Then again, they can just bring Mascarano on. Make no difference then, does it? <laughs> oh, look at the book. Fuck this ref. He's a twat. Typical Italian ref. Cards flying everywhere. I assume he's Italian. Just by that name. <laughs> so keep going. It's not going to say much, but to be honest, it's, chances are it's not going to lead to a um, a negative reaction. I had to bite. Why is he nervous? Uh, saying no pressure. Just could, I, if, if you are just, you know, if you've never seen one of my videos before, for some reason, or you don't watch them regularly, because obviously this might get more views than perhaps the regular. Um, if they're nervous, relax them. Most of the time works. I know Quartes has been great, but it's either that or Martin Kelly, and it's like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I... Was, I, I I'd usually bring him off, but it's like, is that really going to help me? You know, mixing it up. I know his mistake. You know, he gave away the penalties, booked and everything. But look at look at this. See me, Reiner again with the save. <laughs> Imagine though, Neymar at Barcelona. That would. I, I don't even think it would actually. Would it complete the set? I guess or set of what? But you know, would it? I don't know what it do. But it's like there's too many good players, <laughs> and you know they would have pretty much the entire. If they could have Ronaldo and Neymar, that's it then. Unbeatable. <laughs> Physically unbeatable. And perhaps Hummels. I include Hummels in that. Because <laughs> I rate Hummels a lot and people don't seem to, but whatever. Maybe it's just the advertising. But Reyna, as I said, is going to be crucial. He's making some really good saves. Here we go again. And I thought, we, I'm, to be honest, I'm having more chances than I thought. I know we're at home, but still, Barcelona dominate games, you know, and I thought that's what their prowess should be like tonight. You know, I thought they just absolutely dominate this game and I thought I'd have to change tactics constantly, but no, I haven't even had to I barely have to change a thing. Suarez isn't he's not as I mean he's I don't know, I, I don't know. I can't really put my finger on Suarez at the moment. He's doing alright. Losing possession a bit too much though. Let's see what can Azabai all do here. Nothing. <laughs> it's either that I mean um Oh, by the way, in case you know, I, I've got Pedro as well, but obviously he's an eligible one because I think he's probably cup-tied. But I'm not sure if the... I think the rules change after the, the group stages. Um, but obviously he's ineligible anyway because we're playing Barcelona, so... Uh, he's on loan, so... Yeah, he's... So I can't get him. But still hanging on. At the moment, they've hit the bar. <laughs> oh, when they, they have the away goal, so... I guess the ball's in their court, but, you know... To be honest, I'm happy as long as we don't lose here. To be honest, I'll look at ah, twat. Right. Um, oh, I've never seen that before. Barcelona red hot. No, you just sound like a fucking gimp. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take Quartes off. He's, I guess Martin Kelly, but I, I, I'm not gonna. I don't know. Um. I don't know how to change things up, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. At, I don't really want to go attacking because that. No, 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 no. Don't let the the the, the back two go forward, Jan. Yeah. I know we need to score, but that is a little bit risky. I'm not gonna lie against these players. I mean, you can do it against most teams, but not against Barcelona. Um, I'll probably upload this before I do the um, 
uh, the, the for the second leg in the new camp. So if you guys have any tactics for me, um, how to play against Barcelona, then please say. Uh, because I have absolutely no idea. I don't, you know, watch a lot of Spanish football. I've never really played Barcelona, as I mentioned before. Oh, for the love of fuck, Craig Bellamy. Just loses the ball, doesn't even attempt to win it back. <laughs> and they've got a corner straight away. I mean, how do you lose it that badly? That was just, that's just bad. Well, what can you do? I mean, I know we played Barcelona a few years ago at Anfield, and in real life, and I know we won. But that was sort of that was sort of in mid transition of the Rijkaard and Guardiola. I think Rijkaard was still there. You know, Messi was in the team, but you know, he was to be fair, Arbeloa that day. Um, I think that's why Real Madrid bought him. Um, he had Messi in his pocket for pretty much that tie, and I think he, I can't really remember Messi making much of an impact in that game, which is rare. You know, I pretty much remember Messi's performance almost every single one of them. I've seen him. You know, he'll always do something amazing, but in uh, in this Liverpool game, yeah, I mean, he's only 20, you know, something. Uh, yeah, 20. Might even, he might have even been, like, 19. Um, you know, he did really did not do anything. So, same goes for Ronaldinho. I mean, I remember who scored at Anfield. It was Good Johnson, for for goodness sake. You know, I had to Good Johnson. Where he goes, well, where's Reynard going? Just completely going the opposite direction. And uh, then that was going to go in. I think the ball was going to beat Jose Enrique if he got in there. This is not... No, I, I, I don't know. As I, I said, I've never, I don't know what the tactic is to play against Barcelona. So if you're going to type in the comments, be like, oh, you're shit. Well, I'm, I'm playing Barcelona. Oh, why didn't Reina go for it? Whoa, and Kelly hooking that one off the line. At least to be fair, he's doing a better job than Quattes. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to make a change or two, as I really don't know. Kadlec, he's been awful all season, but then again, so is Adebayor. Oh, sorry, he's been poor in this game. Adebayor's been really good. And what's happened there? Free kick. What's with the what's with the fucking commentator like criticizing that player? Know, going down like he's been shot. He said that about three players tonight. I know Cadlech. Uh, actually, I played him in the wrong. Hang on. He's a poacher, isn't he? Let me just make sure. That... Yeah, poacher. Um, I guess attacking now. We need the goal, don't we? Um, and I haven't really made much of anything else, so I don't see why not. To be honest. Uh, Alves is out the next. Um, out the next. Is that ooh, is that the next leg or the next La Liga game? I assume the leg. It's still all Barca. I, th I knew I'd hear myself say that at some point in this game. We are attacking. Um, I know I don't want to concede. Like, an, I mean, bear in mind there is two legs. It's not just a one-off game. You know, there is two legs. So if we can see another one, that's a big game over. So you know, do you? That that's like the difficult decisions coming into it. Gerard seems to be the only one who's really going for it at the moment. Oh, hang on, Craig Bellamy. He's not really done much today, but un been unrealistic, to be honest. You know, Craig Bellamy being very lazy, very almost arrogant. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's not. He's, he's been poor today, Craig Bellamy, on this one. Very, very poor. He's given the ball away. He's done very little. Uh, I'm going to make one more change. Where is he? Uh, oh, my God. I don't give a shit. He's staying on. Um, might as well take Bellamy off. He's done absolutely nothing. Uh, Max Rodriguez a little bit risky but to be fair Jordan Henderson of all players has actually been really good I really wouldn't hear myself say that but yeah he's, he's done quite well Cadlet with the uh, Suarez has been shit as well to be honest Martin Kelly's done really well when he's come off I think he'll be uh, if I get still out the next game um, I'll be certainly playing him in CD in a centre back he's done very well far better than Quartes I know I've got Danny Wilson there as well but he hasn't played much in the first team Right, we need to well we'll have to throw to Gerard. To be fair, that's why to be fair, Gerard's um uh, energy levels in Istanbul were less than thirty three and he still managed to do well, so oh, it's all over the place. Look at this. Why was he shooting from such an angle? He should have pulled it back across the box. There's plenty of players in there. Cadlesh Suarez were all in there. And Maxi with the header, and that's not gonna do anything. See if we put up a fight, um Thought we you know we would just absolutely roll over as I, you know, most teams tend to do against Barcelona. But you know, at least we put up a fight. We've scored the goal. We were in the lead. But to be honest, just Barcelona are just that good. And Reina, if it weren't for him, we probably would. They probably would have held five or six, which is why you know I think I did concede five or six as Atletico Madrid manager <laughs> against them. You know, because we had um, God, who did we have? Courtois, I think, or whatever he's called, the guy on loan at Chelsea or from Chelsea. Well, explains a lot. And I think we've got. I don't know, I can't even remember who it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, if we can launch one at final attack, maybe. 
Cardless got himself into a good position. Come on. Henderson, he's done well all game. Oh, that's a terrible cross. <laughs> Jinxed him there, didn't I? Oh, no, he's, no, he's won it back. And Fabregas slides in on Jack. Look at the... Fuck you, commentator! Fuck you, seriously. You're pissing me off now. Anyway, little Gerard going close, but not good enough. Not good enough, and that will be the final whistle. Great game. Um, not actually that bothered about losing. So, well, they off. They actually go and support the fans. Disappointment. We're against Barcelona. We're still in it, you cunt. And, um, yeah, you were terrible. Um, I don't even care if he's lost confidence there. You need to say to it because that was shit. Uh, Gerard is excellent. Uh, God knows what his condition is. It's actually 61. He's actually gotten better. Very happy. Uh, I'm actually going to say to Henderson, very happy as well. And he switched it off. Fuck this game. I don't get it. Um, I'm actually going to have to, oh, dare I say to Bellamy, uh, not happy with your performance. Well, at least didn't react. I'm also going to say to Adebayor, not happy. He's probably going to be down and confident. Oh, no, no, he's he's fired up, which is good. It's always good to get a reaction out of them. Um, coming so easily really different as well. I agree. I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, they had the possession, but give me a chance when... Well, okay, to be fair, that's just made things a hell of a lot nicer for me because Sh Arsenal have been beaten 3 0 by Shakhtar. <laughs> I know they're away, but still. And a top scorer, I'm going to assume that's Messi. I didn't see a top scorer here. Barcelona, eight goals. I love it when football managers crash. They've been crashing a lot more lately. I blame um, SI for updating it constantly. Reds defeated. Oh, you can't come up with a quirkier headline than that. You want to imagine some little bastards. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Um, so if you want me to do a live commentary for the next game then, which uh, ironically is going to be the League Cup file, um, I will also do that. In fact, um, the Barcelona game is not for a while. I'm considering, I was going to consider for a while putting that out on League Cup final day when we play Cardiff. However, that is not going to be the case because it's like a month away and I'm not going to leave you in suspense for that long. So um, I will plug this one out probably in the next few days uh so yeah um if you want to watch that just say if not you just want to watch the Barcelona again then just say as well um but apart from that hope you enjoyed it it's a great game and uh we'll be back then possibly for the league cup final if not we'll be back for the next leg at the new camp so thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time goodbye for now